Um, it's probably fair to say that this film was motivated primarily as a response to a film of a similar name made by the Canadian director David Cronenberg. Now, in Cronenberg's version, a fictionalised narrative is woven around the events surrounding the composition of the novel The Naked Lunch. Um, now, Cronenberg asserts this is to offset budgetary and censorship considerations that would render uh, any direct film unviable. But, uh, I, I didn't face the same problems. Uh, obviously, my imagination and uh, intellect is, is mm, uh, considerably superior to uh, Cronenberg's without wishing to <laughs> dumb myself with uh, faint praise. Um, it may well be fair to say that Cronenberg's film is more conventionally entertaining than my own, but my film compensates by virtue of its total faithfulness to the original book. And uh, this has been achieved, maybe, by prioritising the extrinsic properties of the work and forsaking its intrinsic properties. This may be seen as the most faithful adaptation, or a faithful... <laughs> that uh -oh faithful adaptation of, uh, of a novel that's ever been attempted in, uh, in the motion picture industry. And for that, I think I deserve a, a not inconsiderable financial remuneration, if not your undying uh, affection and respect.